everyone and welcome back to the channel. We've got a good video for you today. Hoo -hoo -hoo. Right, so there's a bit, I'm going to reveal something and then we're going to show you, as you've seen in the title, how to do it. So, this is going to be the new rims for the cat. So we're going to be spraying these with a peelable paint called Full Dip UK, which you can get from MatPak. Links to their website is also in the description. Um, basically, it's a UK version of Plasti Dip. Is basically what's going on there. And they do a wheel kit, which is basically everything you need to spray the front face of your wheels in Plasti Dip, and that includes a primer the main paint colour and a lacquer, all of which is peelable. The primer is peelable, obviously the paint is peelable and the lacquer will be peelable I assume. Um, we've got two kits because we're going to be doing the barrels as well as the face. So if you want to do the face and the barrels then you will need basically two kits, two wheel kits. One wheel kit will cover four wheels four faces of the wheels, obviously. So you need another kit to do all four barrels. Um, and basically we've been instructed to use all of the product across the whole of the four wheels. So we've planned, we should have plenty of product on it by the time we've finished. So first things first, we've got to prep the wheel. So let's go get on with that. Okay, people, things you're gonna need for the preparation is bin bags, panel wipes, painter's tape, or masking tape as we call it in England. Okay, so as you can see, the tire is not pumped up because we don't want any air in it. So we can get the masking tape and everything around the bead here. Because obviously when we're spraying it with peelable paint, we don't want the tire to go on afterwards because the, the whole process of putting the tire on will take the plastic dip off and we don't want that. So the tire needs to be on first, hence why the rims have got the rim, rim why, hence why the rims have got the tires on. So what we need to do is just make sure that the tire sidewall is clean, ready to accept the tape. So if you've got any tire soap that, that's a spill on the rim from putting the actual tire on, just get as much of it off as you can. You want to get it off the bead, so just push the tire down wherever you need to, just to get to the bead. Make sure there's no greasy soap, because it will affect the dip itself, and it won't take. And we don't want that. Okay, so once everything's on, dried off, which that isn't. Let's get a cloth. Okay, so once the area is all clean, we need to start masking it off. Now, because it's peelable paint, we don't need to go right to the edge here. So we can leave a bit of tire out. And then obviously there's gonna be so much product on here, we can, we can literally just peel it off the tire which will be all that we need to do. So, let's do the masking and I'll get back to you when we're finished. Okay, so this is the face side done. We're using bin bags to cover the rest of the tire, obviously, because the overspray, we don't want going on the tires. Trying to pick that off would be an absolute nightmare. So we just literally just want a little bit of an edge off the tire. So there's enough to, you know, just pick it off. There's a small amount to pick off then. So we're going to flip the tire, and do exactly the same on the back. Okay, so this is how it should look. It takes two bin bags once you've split them open, which I'll show you in a second. 
and that's basically what you should have on both sides so we're ready and we're going to start with spraying the actual barrels first and then we'll flip them over so let's get prepping the rest of them and we'll get back to it okay now to prep your bin bag so open your bin bag up and then you want to tear on the seam like so and then tear across the bottom seam there you go a nice wide sheet and do that for all your bags okay the little bit of extra prep is to make sure you've got the actual stud pattern back plate covered you don't really want product on that mainly because it's going to only take it out by a mil or two maybe a mil but if it goes on the hub awkwardly then you're going to have a wobble and the, it's not going to sit flush so best is it's not painted at all so you've got a nice perfect surface nice and flat okay as you can see all four now are all ready and prepped with the masking so next on the prep list is to panel wipe the entire rim we don't want any grease on these suckers because the minute there's a bit of grease spot is the minute we get a fish eye and that's not what we want we want the perfect finish perfect coverage so we'll get busy with the panel wiping and then we should be ready for paint Okay, the way we're going to be spraying this is we're going to be spraying it one quarter at a time. Okay, this is how the map pack people show you how to spray them. So it works for them. So we'll copy it. So we basically just want to do a first coat, go around, do another one, do another one. Do another one and then move on to the next wheel. So without further ado, let's start the spring. Okay, that's your first coat. We'll leave that for 10 minutes. We'll come back to it, get another coat on. Okay, it's uh, coat two time with the primer. Here we go, coat two. Again, we'll leave it for another 15 minutes, 10 to 15 minutes that it dries, and then get another coat on. Okay, on to coat number three. Here we go. Number three coat done. Okay guys, now that the uh, barrels have been done, we're going to concentrate now on the face. So again, same as before, nice light coat for the first one, build it up as you go. Let's go.
And that's our first coat. Okay, go for our second coat on the front. Okay, we're going to do the final um, primer layer and then we're going to leave it overnight and come back and paint with the actual colour tomorrow. So let's do the final coat. Okay, so we're about to do the colour. So we're going to do the barrels first, as you can see. And we'll start with the first light coat again, doing quarters at a time. Let's go. Okay, that's the first coat, and as you can see, they're going to be white. So we'll come back in 15 minutes when that's all nice and dry. Coat number two. Okay, give it another 15 minutes. Come back, make sure it's dry, and then we'll take on the third coat. Time for our fourth coat. Just got to keep going until the cans run out. We've got three cans of colour to put on the barrels. Let's just keep going. Okay, we're getting there now. Okay, we're on the last can. So we're going to do two more coats on each one. And we should have a decent coverage then, so let's start. There we go, let that dry, and on to the final coat. Okay peeps, time to do the faces, exactly the same procedure, we'll do quarters at a time, quarter passes, so we've done all four, and we'll do the first coat light, let it dry, and then carry on as we were. Here we go. There we go. So we'll let that dry and we'll come back to it. Okay, coat two time. Let's get busy.
that's it and then we'll let that dry okay so we've ran into some issues and the issue is this the kit with only three colors per side on this type of rim in this color is not enough and um, the coverage amount doesn't cover it even in the barrels where I've got direct spray so there's no wasted spray like there is on the spokes there's um, there's not enough coverage for the actual barrel itself so you'll actually need another tin so you'll probably need four tins of color um, for each face so for the front faces and for the barrels you'll need you'll need four each um, and because of that and time limits and all that particular palaver I've gone out and bought some paint some actual spray paint um, I only needed two cans just to get rid of the actual um, sparseness of the of the of the full dip of the cover just to fill in the coverage that wasn't done um because you can still see you could still see the gray primer coming through um so that's what we've done now apparently once you spray normal spray paint on the peelability um becomes non-existent but we had a little run on one of the wheels which i was sanding back um, and it's it's still very peelable trust me <laughs> it's still peelable um, it might not come off as well as it would have done as in you know one big long shit you might have to just pick it a bit it'll come off either way um, but other than that yeah we, th these are the issues that you probably might fall into so I thought well I might as well show you all the pitfalls regardless to whether it comes out good or bad um, so yeah I mean obviously Alan at, at um, Matt Pack is not recommending that you spray over the top with, with actual paint. And he is also going to look into the pack uh, itself to see how much product you actually do need for the lighter colours. He did tell me that, that whites, I think it was whites, yellows and reds, um, apparently are really hard. They take a lot of coverage. Um, but with this particular wheel, with the amount of spokes that it's got, um, you waste quite a lot of product because there's gaps between all of them so obviously you need more tins for the front um, as well as not a lot of coverage so we're on to the clear now so we'll do the clear I'll show you how that goes and then we'll we'll show you what it's like when it's finished concludes the video what did you think i love it i love the car now that, that's exactly what i've been wanting on it since day one um that particular wheel as well which if you've been a bit of a keen eye on the channel you would have noticed that it was the same type of wheel that was on my mark one and that's because i love that wheel so why not plus it doesn't cost an arm and a leg for those particular rims and i think they look really good so i went for them again now, what you will find in the description is you'll find the link to Matte Pack, which is the Full Dip UK, which is the peelable paint that I've been using 
like I said, it's very much like plastic dip, but it's the UK version. Um, so obviously it's a lot cheaper to get hold of. Um, and the, the actual product itself is, is, as far as I'm concerned, the finish on it is much better than Plasti Dip. Um, it's got a lot smoother finish. It doesn't look, it doesn't have so much of a leather look, if you, if you know what I mean, if you've ever used Plasti Dip before. Um, it's more of a smoother paint look. Um, so yeah, I love the stuff. Um, but go and hit Alan up and uh, you know get your wheels sprayed because I'm sure this has inspired you to just uh, get busy. Because on the end of, at the end of the day, it doesn't ruin your wheels. You can just peel them off when you're ready to change the colour or go back to the original colour. Now, I have spoke to Alan about the pack itself and the issues that we had. And he's reviewed it, apparently. And what he's doing is what you normally get is you get two primers, three colours, one clear in the pack. He's going to reduce it to one primer, four colours and one clear. And I think that will do it, to be fair. Um, I think I was only one can short of making the coverage completely finished in white, of course. Um, and because white's a difficult colour to, to spray on in terms of coverage, you need quite a lot of it. So that should solve the issue. The price is exactly the same. It's just that if they've swapped around the actual um, can amounts, but it should solve the issue for sure. So go and hit them up in the... Uh, in the description and go and get an order yourself go and order yourself a, an actual pack a kit and uh, get spraying your wheels second description link is um to xxr uk which is who supplied the rims to me now they gave me a, an absolute bonkers of a deal which i was very pleased about and uh, so you know they, they did me well so you need to go if you want to go and get them just hit them up in the description Go and check them out. They're a massive dealer for, for XXR for the UK, hence the, hence the name XXR UK. Um, and they've got a great selection of wheels. They don't just do XXR though, they do all sorts. But that's their, that's their, main, that's their main thing, obviously. But go and hit them up and uh, ask them for a deal. Tell them Sonar Creep sent you and uh, see what they can uh, rustle up for you. And they'll get them delivered to your house, which is always a plus, especially in these particular COVID times. Um, other than that, yeah, there's nothing much more to say other than my next video, which I'm not sure whether you'll want to see it or not. So you can, if you don't mention it in the comments, then I'm not going to put it up. Simple as that. Which is that I did ceramic coat the wheels, obviously because they're white. So I'm going to want as much ease as possible when it comes to washing them. So that's, you know, that's a video that I have done. It's a very short video, but I'm not sure if you want to see it because there's about 10 billion how to ceramic coat your wheels on, on the intervals and on YouTube. So, you know, it's up to you. If you want to see it, tell me in the comments. If you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell, hit the like button because I need them likes uh, and share about if you can. I'd also like to say a massive thanks to all my new subscribers that have come along recently within the last couple of weeks. Um, we're now up to 830 something subscribers. We're nearly at the thousand mark, which is the, you know, the, the minor goal, basically. And uh, obviously a massive thank you to all my all my other subscribers, all all other 800 of you for, uh, for checking in and uh, subscribing to my channel which is a massive um, a massive thing and yeah that's just a massive thank you to everyone and stuff so that's it for this vid hope you liked it sorry it was a bit long but you know you know me i tried to do the old um you know shorten it down tutorial but i couldn't do it with this vid obviously for obvious reasons you need to see exactly what i'm doing with this particular thing changing a part is is different but you know yeah so I have to show it you all, sorry. But if you've made it to the end, thanks very much for watching till the end. And uh, I'll see you on the next video. Bye for now.